In this workbook, we have a list of customer orders, and a couple of them are missing the product information. I want to send those orders with missing information to a different worksheet where I can print the date and customer, and then we can follow up on those orders. I'll use the advanced filter feature, and to do that, I would create a criteria range with one of the headings from the table, product, matches exactly this product column heading. And if I were looking for cookies, I could put that here and run the advanced filter and it would put a list of cookie orders on this sheet. To do the same thing with a blank cell is a little bit trickier. If I clear out this product name and try to find orders where that's blank, it's just going to give me all the orders because it will interpret that as there's no criterion here, so just show me all the orders. To specify that we're looking for blanks, we'll use a different criterion. So I'm going to type an equal sign and then click on the first product in that table, which is in cell C2, and then an equal sign. And we're looking for blanks, so we can use the empty string, which is two double quote mark. And when I press enter, we can see that it's false for cell C2. That's not equal to an empty string. So we're going to use that formula as our criteria for the advanced filter. Because we're using a formula, we either have to clear out this heading cell or use something that's not an exact match to one of the column headings. I'll just clear it out. And now we're going to run the advanced filter. Because we wanted the results on a different sheet, we're going to start on the result sheet. So I'm clicking a cell away from those heading cells. And on the data tab, click advanced filter. We want to copy to another location. The list range is on the order sheet. The criteria range is also on the order sheet, and I'll include both that blank heading cell and the cell with the formula. We want to copy two, and it's these two cells. And when I click OK, it creates a list with those two orders that had blank products. So for an advanced filter, when you're using a formula, then make sure to clear out the heading cell or use something different than one of the table headings.